very sick, of course. Probably bad for the sick. And, uh, and Mr. Frank one day showed up in my, where I was, and, uh, and he told me about the book. I mean, the book. He told me about papers from I mean, the police had found the papers, and she had finally given it to him. And, and uh, he started reading the book, discussing it. We did not think that it would, I mean, nobody thought it would be as famous as it became. Uh, and, but it, it, she really changed many people's attitude. And, and somehow, do you know another book about the war? I mean, unless you've not read a um, university book, you know, book of the universities. Uh, you could find out what actually happened. But that book somehow grabbed everybody where we live. We don't live in silence. We, you know, we live in feelings and, and heart, our hearts and the important things. It's just, uh, well, it's the end of the story. I was very really lucky. I made it. Could you tell us more about that? Exactly of our group, but you know, he might be a, a neighboring group or somebody. Mm -hmm. If we needed somebody, we could get him to do this. We had a friend who had a, uh, a very interesting small car when the war started, and it, they had a garage that he, he put his car in the garage, but he felt something was happening, there was no group, the Germans were coming in. Uh, we had five days of war, you know. Five days of war with Britain Germany's uh, attack tower. And during that time, he uh, he uh, took bricks and closed up the thing. <laughs> Nobody ever knew there was a, a car in there. And the day was over. <laughs> he had a full tank. I mean, he could, he could look forward and, and saw something. You know, he was the first one going on vacation after <laughs> 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 the war.